Good evening, good evening. Hello, hello, can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Hello, Nelson, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. A bit tighter? A little tighter. <laughs> I imagine. Yes. But it's Friday. Yes, but I have to work tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yes. I, I remember. I remember that you told me you, you always work on Saturdays. All yes, right. I have to. Yes, and also the the owner of the company is is in El Salvador. Oh, so I imagine that is harder now. Very harder. Yes, because he he is Korean. Oh, so I imagine that he's strict. Very, very strict. Oh my gosh. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. So I hope you had a good day tomorrow. I know yes, that it's going to be a little bit heavy, but yeah, I'm sorry to yes. hear that. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Yeah. All right. But at least for the class, during the class, you can try to relax a little bit. All right. Okay. I will try it. <laughs> yeah. No worries. So how is the platform going? Mm, I'm okay. Uh huh. Yes, uh, and also a uh, few minutes ago, I was I was viewing the the class online than yesterday. Ah, pretty good. Yeah, yes. you know, you couldn't be here, right? Yes, it was terrible the the water. The weather. <laughs> yeah, you live in Zacatecoluca, you said, right? Yes, or, in Zacatecoluca city. Yeah, in my city it was rainy a lot too, but before the class, like some minutes before the class, it was raining a lot, but during the class it was over. So, but it no, was here. Start, here, here started let me around seven city in in during the class too. Yes, I imagine that. All right, but so good that now you are here. Welcome. <laughs> okay, thank you, Tisha. You're welcome. So I hope today the weather could be nice and doesn't affect the connection of oh, right anyone. Now. Right now it's, it's very hot. Oh, uh, no, <laughs> in my city too, it's <laughs> terrible. Yeah, yes. but anyways. Here we are, guys. Welcome to the class. How are you tonight? Let's see, let's see. I can see Jamie. Hello, Jamie. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. <laughs> okay. How was your day? It was calm. It was quiet. Ah, pretty good. Um. This all I I have done uh, many activities for for home. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and are you ready for the weekend? Uh, yes, yes, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any plans? No one, just stay in the home. <laughs> ah, okay, pretty good. All right, now let's see. I can see Holman. Hello, Holman. How are you? Hi, good evening. I am, I am tired. Tired? But, yes. <laughs> but it's Friday. Yes. Uh, yes, yes, I know. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long but, week. I am okay. <laughs> Do you have any plans for the weekend? Uh, yes, I am. I'm going to go out, always go out and take a take a rest. Hmm. Sounds good. Pretty good. You deserve it. You can relax a little bit. Excellent. Uh, who else is there? I can see Isabel. Hello, Mr. Hernandez. How are you? 
Hello, teacher. How are you tonight? Uh, <clears throat> a little stressing. My day it was uh, hard. It was hard. Yeah, it's been a long week. I know. I know that you must be tired, guys. I know. But remember, it's Friday. So let's relax a little bit. Okay. And it's almost weekend. Mirna, do you have any plans for the weekend? No, no, teacher. I don't have any plan for this weekend. Just uh, supermarket, go to supermarket and uh, stay with my with my kids and sure at home yeah, at home. <laughs> yeah. okay all right all right well guys i hope at least you can rest a little bit okay so you can feel a little better leave behind this stress now today we are going to check any topic and we are going to practice of course so before starting just a reminder guys platform. I'm going to show you how your score is going so you can see how much you have advanced on the platform. Now let me share. Can you see it? Yes. Yes. Pretty good. Okay. If you remember in the unit number one, there was an exercise which answers was like incorrect and it doesn't matter if you write it correctly, the platform always takes it as incorrect, right? So that's the reason why some people has 96, okay? But if you remember, I told you that if you sent the sentences that we studied here in the class, I will give you 100%. So in the score books, uh, let me see. In my notes books here, look, the people who has 96 on the platform and they sent the sentence, I put it the 100. Okay, because in that case, it's a mistake of the platform, not yours. But the condition is that you need to have the 96. If you have 80 or 89 or 88, mm -mm, so doesn't apply, all right? So only if you get to the 96, I'm going to switch you into 100. Now, so far so good, some people already finished the unit number one, that's great. But remember that we are in the week number two. Okay, so let's continue working guys. Remember that the idea is to finish one unit per week. Okay, so, so far so good. There are some people that they already finished uh, the unit number two. So that's awesome. Uh, some people haven't finished the unit number two, but they already started. So be careful, all right? Don't wait until the last minute, please. I have some people that they haven't even finished the, the unit number one. So be careful with the platform. Remember, sorry to work on the platform. Every Friday, I send the scores about your advance. So don't forget it, please. Work on the platform. You have to finish it. Now, we're going to start. Today, we are going to see a topic. Let me share the presentation. Can everybody see the presentation? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Yes. Okay. So today is May 26, and we are in the week two, unit two. We are going to talk about the advantages of outsourcing. If you remember, we talked uh, at the beginning of this week about outsourcing, and we are going to talk the advantages of it as a three party. And in this case, guys, we are going to use the service provider. So we are going to talk about it. And this is our class objective. I need, please, a volunteer for reading. I want to be, teacher. Yes, thank you. Advantages of outsourcing and 3PL service provider. It's, it's right. 
the, the reader and uh, it's 3PL service provider, is right? Yeah, it's okay. Class objective. Class of objective. Participant will be able to express the advantages of outsourcing a 3PL service provider and add connector to their speech. That's the one. So we are going to see, first of all, what is the meaning for 3L, uh, 3PL. We are going to see it, no worries. And let's start talking about it, okay? Have you ever heard the term third-party logistic before? That is the meaning of the 3PL, third-party logistic. Have you ever heard that before? Yes. I have never heard about it, teacher. I never? Never? No, I never. Okay, anyone? Yes, I mm -hmm. know. Tell yes, me. I have. What do you understand about third-party logistics? The third-party logistics is when you, uh, when you uh, are in the manufacturing, then you contract for, or you, you have to contract for another service, for example, the transport logistics, you need to, uh, another company that help you and transport the, the product that you, you, you deliver and, and for, for retail or wholesale, or maybe when you use uh, a transport for your raw material, for example, you need to, contract that the the transport or uh, to the supplier that they 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 can they can uh, they can move your your raw material if you have other uh, factory they can move them in in your other factory I think that this is the the third party in logistic and actually it's totally correct. So remember third party logistics is exactly that. Imagine that you have a small business, all right? For example, imagine that you sell, uh, what? Simple. Imagine that you sell chicken, roasted chicken or grilled chicken, the ones that you prefer, okay? And you sell them in your city. So, people start asking about delivery. And you are like, okay, but I, I don't have that service. I don't have a car. I don't have motorcycle. So what do you do? You hire, some, uh, you hire someone to do that job. That is a third party logistic in a very small way. If you want to see it in a bigger way, so easy. You have a company, the company sells any kind of product, but you need to move, you need to transport the product. And you don't have the trucks. You know that trucks, well, they are expensive. So it is easier and cheaper to hire a company who offers the trucks to transport your materials, to transport your product. So that is exactly the meaning of the third party logistic. It is not only about transportation, they can also offer different services. Okay. Now I need a volunteer please for reading this short paragraph. Uh-huh. Okay, I heard Nelson oh, first. Thank you. Go ahead. Third party logistics or 3PL is essentially when a provider offers to a business outsourcing the, the distribution, warehousing, and transportation of their products. Very good. Okay, so if we are talking about a third party logistic, what are the services that they can offer? They can offer, look, distribution, 
they can offer warehousing and also they can offer transportation, okay? Imagine in the example of warehousing, imagine that you have a big company and you don't have a place where you can keep your product. So you need to pay for a company who can give you a big warehouse. And they say, okay, I'm going to rent this warehouse so you can keep your products there. So they can offer different options. Got it? Yes? Is it clear the meaning, guys, of the uh, third party logistic? Yes, a little bit or not? A little bit. A little bit. Okay, no worries. Let's see more examples. Okay. We have one or first party logistic. We are going to see the difference. Okay. A volunteer, please, for reading the first party logistic. Teacher, could you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. Could I try if nobody wants? Yes, please. A business manufacturing 1PL. A business manufacturing TV bags, stores, and delivers it directly to customers. Very good. Now, let's see the difference so we can understand the three-party logistic. First of all, we have the first. First-party logistic. What is this? That means a business, they manufacturing the TVs. That's the product that they sell. They produce the TVs. What else? They pack the TVs. They sell the TVs. I mean, they have their own stores. And also they deliver their own TVs to their customers. So, do they need another company to do the job? Yes or no? No, it's direct. Exactly. Yes. In this case, they don't need another company. In the first party logistic, that means that they do all the job. In this case, the connection to the customer is direct, okay? There is no other parties involved. Could you think in a company which has first party logistic? Any idea? Maybe Campero. Pollo Campero? Yes, they, they have the... They have kitchen, they have delivers, and they have warehouse. They ah. have everything. What do you think, guys? Do you agree? Yes, teacher. Yes. Actually, yes. Most of the time, the biggest company, because they are already financial stable, right? They are able to do all the job by themselves, right? They can produce the product, they can package, they can sell it, they have their own stores, and also they have their own trucks so they can offer delivery to. So this is one party logistic, okay? Now, let's see the other one in the number two. I need a volunteer for reading. The number two, please. Hey, teacher. Thank you, Nelson. Go ahead. A business manufacturing TV, part stories, and outsources delivery to customer using a courier. Thank you. Okay, let's see this company. In this example, the company, okay, they manufacturing the TVs, okay, they produce it. They packed the TVs too. They stores the TV, but 
here we have a difference. Do they deliver the product or do they need another company to do that? They need an outsourcing. Aha, uh -huh, very good. In order to deliver their products, what happens here? They need a courier. Do you know what courier is? I know, Tisha. You don't know? I don't know. Courier is, is uh, people who, who is a transport, like a mailman. Yes. I don't know. That's the, it. DHL is a courier. DHL. They want, yeah, if you deliver packages, you are a courier. All right. So basically, a courier, guys, it's a company that transports packages. All right. So in this case, in this company, look what happens here. The company they don't connect directly to the customer, right? If they want to get to the customer, they need another company. The company takes the product and they deliver the product to the company. So can you see the difference? In the number one, the company goes directly to the customer. They do all the job, manufacturing, packs, stores, and delivery. In the number two, they do the same except the delivery. They don't do that. They hire a company and that company does the job. Can you think in a company who is a second party logistic? What do you think? Yes, T-shirt. The, the, it's a big company, Unilever. For example, I work in, in Unilever 10 or more than 10 years ago. And uh -huh. they, they manufacture the, the product, but then uh, they, they use outsourcing for delivery or, or to customer. They're using a, outsourcing for delivery the product in retail or, or in the store. Ah, pretty good. So that's a good example. So in this case, guys, the company hire another company that they provide the transportation service. Yes, is that clear? Yes, sure, it's clear. All right, everybody, do you have any questions so far? Teacher, I have a question about vocabulary. Okay, go ahead. If about uh, packs, packs is uh, is uh, something different about um, something different if you compare with packaged. Oh, Package what happened? Or packages is different packs and packages. Yes according to grammar and part of the speech, but not in the meaning. Remember that package is the noun. For example, when you have a box, you say, hey, yeah. I have a package. Pax yeah. is the verb. For example, imagine if you want to move to another house, you say, I need to pack all my things. So that is the difference. One is the noun, the other one is the verb. Mm -hmm. Yes, clear. Um, and then why why in this case we need the letter E is the person or something like that? In which is the letter what? Pax. Oh letter yes. S. Yes, because we are talking about the action that the company does. If you see the it person. says Pax, uh-huh, stores. Right? Okay. And if you see in the previous one says delivers, that's why mm -hmm. we use the letter S. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's, it's because of the pretty, third person. Pretty clear. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I saw someone, I think, Hector, do you have a question? Yes, teacher. I don't know. My, I'm, I'm right. Um, if higher is the number, uh, less is the process. I mean, if, uh, if 
one pill, the the company have a a, uh, a big process include um, manufacturing, storing and, and, and sell. Mm -hmm. But if the, the level, the number is is high, like a two pill, the process is less because only factoring, but a contract outsourcing for only for for um for delivery uh, in this case we have and delivery uh-huh uh -huh. uh -huh. and yes. i think that the third process the, no number three uh-huh uh, it's only manufacturing another another process is a uh, um it's contract for high, uh, um, Another, uh -huh. uh -huh. for other and companies exactly oh, okay. okay i got it thank you pretty good <laughs> exactly as hector says if you see in the number one one party logistic means that is only one company that is involved in all the process the same company manufactures the same company packs the same company stores, the same company delivers. It's everything is done by the same company. Imagine here that Hector has a company, okay? Hector's in company, okay? <laughs> Hector, he manufactures the product, he packs the product, he stores it, and he delivers. He does everything okay now in the number two let's imagine that i have mr magdaleno right magdalenos in corporation so he manufactures the product he packs it he stores the product but he doesn't deliver the product so Magdaleno says, hey, I need someone to help me to deliver it. So Magdaleno hired a Mirna's, Mirna's Incorporation. Okay. So what happens here? Magdaleno only does one part of the job. The delivery part is Mirna's company, the ones that has to do it. So how many people do I have involved in the number two? One, two. That's the reason of the name. Two party logistic. Got it? Yes. Uh, Magdalena, go ahead. Do you have a question? Hey, I cannot hear you. I'm oh, so sorry, my microphone was on, off. <laughs> okay. Okay, I understood your idea, uh, but I have a question. Go ahead. I worked for a few years, maybe four years, for a company. A company was uh, called Disasa. And then uh, Disasa uh, is a distributor. They... Um, they um, they they have a warehouse and they and they um, distribute the product for the the, the the stores different stores particular stores maybe in retailers and other people who 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 who, who buy needs the and, service yes who buying a book mm -hmm. okay and then they they contract other people for translate for deliver the product from the warehouse to the stores in in truck by okay. truck mm -hmm. and then they are outsourcing of the manufacturer as a distributor they are outsourcing or they are a company and the outsourcing is the the truck the transportator all right, so let what me see. <laughs> <laughs> let me see if I understood your question. Okay, so <laughs> you work for a delivery company. This company hired another company 
for warehouse. Is that what you particular, mean? Particular, particular trucks. Oh, so they offer the delivery uh, service, but they don't have their own trucks. So they no, have. No, they don't have. Ah, they work... need to hire another mm -hmm. trucks, another yeah. company for the trucks. Yes. Yes. We and understand. then. Okay, they have the warehouse and they have the, the flyer because they have sellers and uh -huh. they don't have trucks to move your merchandise uh -huh. from the warehouse to the, the client, mm -hmm. the, the, the retailers. In that then, case, uh -huh, continue, continue. And then the, the outsourcing are the trucks. In this case, it's clear, but um, uh, a distributor, Disasa, is an outsourcing of other company, or no? They are, yes. And in this case, your example is a clear example of the three or the third party logistic. Because let me show you a picture. Uh, can you see the drawing? Yes, I can. Okay, Oil. look at the drawing in this case. It's exactly as you just said that. So in that company, they have the warehouse. They offer it that service, but they don't have the trucks. So they have to hire to another company. So this is like a chain, all right? So the chain starts with the manufacturers. They are the beginning of the change because they are creating the products. Okay. In this case, the second example, the second step in the change, it will be your company, the ones that you worked for, it, because they are offering the warehouse, they are offering the delivery service. So basically, they will be here. All right. Then All right. that company hires the trucks. That the, in this case, imagine that it will be this one, all right? And then the products arrive to the customers. I don't know if this, I answer your question. <laughs> yes, in this case, we have a chain of, of three blocks. Basically. The manufacturer, the distributor, and the delivered exactly. the courier. Yes. So in this case, let's see the difference. Volunteer for reading, please, the number three. Only one, please. Can I, Bishop? Thank you, <laughs> go ahead. Say, uh, 3PL, a business only manufactures TV and absorbs the transport, packaging, warehousing, and fulfillment, fulfillment to a 3PL service provider. Thank you. In the number third, right? Imagine in this case, the company only manufactures the products. In this case, the TVs. They only do, that's the only job. And then they hire companies for the rest of the job. They hire companies for transportation. They hire company for packaging, for warehouse, for transportation, basically everything. The only step that they do is the number one, that is manufacturing. The idea is, as I said before, this is like a chain, right? We got the manufacturers, someone who does the packaging job, another company to have the warehouse, another company for the transportation. So how many companies do I have involved in this process? Look, I have the Please third see. party, Please. exactly. And that's the why the name, third body logistic. Now, is it clear? Yes, it's clear. Any questions so far? No, no question. Anyone? So in your perspective, according to this example, which one do you see or do you think 
it's better. It depends. Mm -hmm. It depends on the policies of your company. If you are, if your perspective is you know, do the whole work, it is better than number one. If okay. you are, if you are looking for more profit, profits, is better the third PO. That's Maybe. a good reason. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why the third party logistic is becoming more and more popular currently, right? Especially for those companies who sell products online. Why? Ah, because they don't have warehouse. They don't have a transportation system. As Magdaleno says, if you have the money, if your company is big enough so to do all the job, that's great. But if your company is starting, maybe it's not so big, you don't have the capital to do everything, the best option is to pay to different companies to do the job. Because what do you think? Which one is cheaper? Rent a company to transport your packages or buy trucks? Which one do you think that is cheaper? In my, in my opinion, it's cheaper, it's cheaper contract uh, other company because you, you don't have to worry for, for mechanics for accidents for secure social security and other things what what are including in in this in this area that's totally true exactly so if you see in this case we don't need to worry about the gasoline or if the car has an accident or if the trucks need to go to the mechanic nothing you just pay to the company and it's company's business if the truck suffers some inconvenience. That's why most of the companies start working with a third party logistics. Clear, everyone? Yes? Yes, yes, it is clear. Pretty good. Now we're going to see some advantages of this uh, option, but I'm going to check attendance. When you listen to your names, say present. Um, Adriana Escalante. Adriana Escalante. Okay, Carlos Abrego. Very good. Um, Christian Alexander. Present teacher. Very good. Erika Yasmin. Fatima Denise. Aquí voy a defender. All right. Eh, Germán Alexander. Present teacher. Very good. Um, Héctor Francisco. Present. Present. Okay. Isabel Hernández. Present, miss. Okay. Iván Guzmán. Iván. No? Okay. Um, Jamie Raquel? Present, teacher. All right. Holman Saul? Present. All right. Lucy Narali? Present, teacher. All right. Magdaleno Escalante? Present. Okay. Mirna Elizabeth? Present. Very good. Nelson Antonio? Present. Very good. Oscar Armando. Okay. And Rosalina Alvarado. Rosalina Alvarado. All right. Now. Listen. Okay. Listen, listen. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. All right. Now let's have some ideas about why business decide to hire this type of party logistics company. I need a volunteer, please, for reading. Thank you, Nelson. Go ahead. 
by the businesses shaped to GPL providers. People began purchasing goods in record numbers from things of tongues up or websites and marketplace. Millions of orders and returns be, be, began processes every day. Also, this was good for business for thousands of companies doing business online. It also presents the following set of challenges when it came to managing the logistic and supply chain of such volumes. Thank you. So according to this paragraph, why? Why do you think, guys, businesses shift to the 3PL parties? What do you think? Why? Why do they hire the companies, according to the paragraph? In the paragraph, um, the author says what he is focused in, in the e-commerce. He mm -hmm. explained about uh, the, the process uh, of buying by internet. And the trouble is for move this this merchandise. Exactly. That is a trouble. Very no, good. Especially especially for the volume of the of the of the of the high the purchases. Exactly. The purchases and, and the need of the chain supply. Like that's correct. Imagine nowadays, I mean E-commerce is very popular. We already studied that. We already talked about how sales online are more popular than ever. So people start purchasing in record numbers. Look, around tens, thousands of websites. It's a lot of people buying online. So what happens here? The companies, I mean, they don't have enough transportation. They don't have trucks. They don't have the way to deliver the products. That's the reason why, I mean, they decided to opt to for the three-party logistics provider, okay? It is easier and it is cheaper for them. Sure, and yes. another, and another. I think that in another, um, in another, uh, convenient convince that the the company have is that uh, they don't have a fixes activo fijo. How do you say activo fijo? I don't remember. It's a financial. It's in in the financial when you don't have a machine or truck or for transportation when you don't have activo fijo I, I don't remember exactly how to say activo fijo and and financial it's a financial this is the other reason that the big that the comp big company use a third part of logistics because uh, is they don't declare declare this in in his financials report and they don't have to pay for it. Exactly. exactly. Yes, um, I'm checking here. And if you want to say that, you have to say fixed. Oops. Fixes, fixed assets. Uh -huh. Assets. Okay. Yes, exactly. As your classmate Thank says, you. they don't have to pay for it. So imagine in the end, guys, company saves money. Paying to a third company to do the job is not that expensive then the maintenance of if they had a warehouse or if they have the trucks, it is not as cheaper as if, I mean, it's not as cheap if you hire another company. That's why it's a good option, right? Now, let's talk about a little bit about some advantages. I'm going to show you a statement and tell me what do you think? What is the meaning of that? The first advantage is third-party logistics services improve customer satisfaction. What do you think about that statement? Is that true? 
or not? And what's the sentence trying to say? What do you think? Is that true? Yes. Do you think? Yes, I think this is true because the 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 the, the logistic or the or the company that service logistic they they say they do that logistic and they and they have uh, just uh, just to solve the logistic problem and and they improve a lot when the customer say oh I need to, or when the customer. Uh, that uh, feedback uh, at this because it's a, spe a specific a specific um, rubro. <laughs> oh my god! It's a specific, and the, when you when you are specific in your business, is more you 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 are a specialist in that I that I you do. Okay, that's totally true. Now everybody, this is my opinion, but I, I think that is is it the is it this is the sentence. But it makes sense. So if I will have to say rubro, I will say area. I mean, I don't think that rubro has like another translation. I think I, I will say area basically. All right. Now, okay, according thank to you. what your classmate says. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Now, I need a volunteer, please, for reading the description. Could I? Yes, please. Triple PL provider, provider, providers mm -hmm. are experts with years of experience in supply chain, in supply chain management. As a result, they offer businesses really have reliable delivery time, better communication, minimal changes of poor pack of poor packing. Is packing correct the pronunciation? Packing, yes. Is of poor pack packing and damaging to improve customer satisfaction. So if you see this is the reason why if you hire this kind of body it is better and improves to your customer satisfaction. Because look, according to the paragraph, it says that they are, uh -huh, they are experts. They are experts. Mm -hmm. So they have a lot of years of experience, okay? So they offer delivery on time, they know that they have to respect the time. Why? Because if if they send the packages, I mean, out of the deadline, the company who uh, which hired them, they are not going to pay them, right? They shame them. So they ex shame. exactly, they what will they do? Is Okay, I'm not going to continue working with you. I'm going to hire to another company. So they know that their business has to be totally responsible. So now think about you as customers. If you receive your package on, uh, on time, how would you feel? Satisfaction. <laughs> uh, you will feel totally satisfied and look at here they have minimum poor packaging that means that they don't have a lot of mistakes they are very careful they try to avoid damaging so you will receive your package on time but also you will receive it in a good condition all right so, customer will be totally happy. That is one of the advantages of a third party logistic. Do you agree with this advantage? I agree. Yes, Definitely. of course. <laughs> Definitely, right? Pretty good. So, we agree. Now, let's see the next statement. This is another advantage. Uh, the third party logistics reduce current cost. 
Do you agree with it? What do you think? Yes, what teacher. is the why? What is the meaning of that sentence? Yes, I mentioned it a few minutes ago for for the mechanic and the other thing that you said, gasoline and other thing. The company don't have to don't have to pay for it. And the other company, the contractor, the outsourcing have to pay for for all the, the for all team that the provider the the provider of the service needs. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, that's my opinion. So company doesn't. Okay, third person, be careful. Company doesn't. Okay, thank you. Very good. All right. Someone else who wants to read, please. Me, teacher. Thank you, Rosalina. Go ahead. Warehousing and transportation management require large excess capital and for most growing businesses. Investing such a high amount is simply not sustainable. Sustainable. <laughs> Excuse me? Sustainable. Sustainable. PPL providers have infrastructures in place as well as on large fleets as logistic solutions. Are they primary business? Thank you. Mm -hmm. So this is what we were talking about, right? If your business is so small, if you don't have a lot of money, imagine, I mean, buying a lot of trucks i mean it will be very expensive you will be delivering products just imagine here in el salvador if you have to send products to santa ana and to san miguel the same day i mean wow you will need two trucks so it will be very expensive to buy them that's why it is simpler and it is cheaper is to just hire to another company to do that. So everyone, do you agree with the second advantage? Do you think that third party logistics, they do reduce the cost? Teacher, I agree, but I have a question. Go ahead. How about, how about vocabulary? Go ahead. It's related to the, the word fixed. Fixed. Large, large, require large fixed capital. What means in this context? All right. Fixed. In this in this case, guys, if we are talking that require large fixed capital is like fijo, like una gran, un gran capital fijo. That is the translation for fixed. All right. Thank you. You're yeah, welcome. You. Very good. Uh, this is something, guys, that I wanted to consider. We have verbs, especially the regular verbs. It's like the most common example, but this happens to verb. And this is another topic, right? But it's something that you can work online if you want. And is when we have verbs as adjectives, okay? What happens here? I have fix. Fix is the verb, right? Uh, for example, when your car is not working, you say, hey, I need to fix my car. Yes? So fix is a verb. Now, when you go to the mechanic and now your car is working perfectly, now you can say, now my car car is fixed. So what do I have here? A verb or an adjective? An adjective. Exactly. So we can take this verb and we transform it into an adjective. Okay? Yes. Okay. This is this is just for future references, okay? That sometimes you can see this kind of example and you say, okay, but can I say un capital arreglado doesn't make sense, right? So we can change it into an adjective. In this case, we can say fijo, okay? Pretty good. Okay, so second advantage, 
reduce the cost. Okay, let's see if you remember what was the first advantage that we mentioned. They are expect, expert. They are experts? Expert. Okay, but what was the, the topic? The client is happy. Uh -huh. yeah. The customer, <laughs> so, so the, the customer, customer okay. <laughs> the customer is Satisf happy. Satisf satisfaction, satisfaction, I don't know. Satisfied. Satisfaction, satisfied, satisfied, yes. Okay, satisfied is the adjective, or you can say satisfaction as a noun. So this service improved customer satisfaction. What is the second one? Reduce costs. Very good. Reduce the cost. Be careful. We can have an exam one day, uh, like a surprising exam. Now, another, uh, another advantage. Third-party logistics providers, look, eliminates compliance and regulatory issues for international transport. Hmm. What is that? What do you think? Teacher, what do you I have understand? a question that the vocabulary compliance. Uh, compliance? I don't know. Anyone? What? Do you have an idea what compliance is? Is when when client like is a penalty? Not... <laughs> hmm? Excuse me. Like a penalty? No. Mm, not really. Not in this case. It's not, it's not the same okay. complaint. Yes, it's not the no. same. Oh, it okay. it is not the same. It's different. Uh, Magdalena, you were saying something? I I am thinking about the the old paper of um, the border. About that for for international. I don't know what is the word to say that when you are when you are you carry one thing from outside our country to inside our country. I you don't need... know what is the word to say that. I I have idea. Uh huh. Go ahead. When you have to do something because um, the legacy of your country um, say that you must do it. Is that rule? Ah, you got the idea, you got the idea. So as your classmate was saying, in this case, guys, compliance, it's like the rules that you have to follow, okay? Mm -hmm. Like normas, right? Rules that you need to follow. So basically they eliminate that because you don't have to think about it. Let's see a little the description, so maybe you will understand it a little bit better. So please, volunteer for reading. Teacher. Uh-huh. How do you say soborno? Mm. Let me check, you, I, you, I, I don't remember. When you pay that for the employee of the border. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, I will say corruption, but let me check. Okay, listen, soborno. Sobornar say bribe. Bribe, <laughs> yeah, that's bribe. what I was checking right now. Look, let's go to lingua, okay? Uh, bribe. Ah, uh, yeah, let's listen to the uh, pronunciation. Bribe. Yeah, bribe. bribe. Well, I will say corruption. <laughs> okay, <laughs> look, and look at the interesting thing. We can use bribe as a noun, but also as a verb. And is a regular verb. So you just need to add ed. Okay, very nice. All right, guys, but don't do it, okay? <laughs> don't bribe <laughs> to anyone. <laughs> That's illegal. All right, did you write the word? Yes, bribe. Bribe. Right, I have, I take notes. Excellent. Okay, everyone, a volunteer for reading, please. Come on, I want I to listen. Thank you, I go ahead. Have. Yes. Third year providers eliminate compliance and regulate, regulatory, regulatory or regulatory? Regulatory, regulatory. Or regulatory issues for international transport. CPL providers 
have a vast network and presence in countries across the globe, which makes it which make it easier from for them to transport, delivery, and even to export goods across international borders without running into regulate re, regulatory re, regulatory issues. Thank you. Really? So what what happens here, guys? <laughs> Imagine that you have a company here. This is El Salvador. Okay, and you have your company, uh, your transportation company here. Okay, your business is so good that you go to Guatemala. In Guatemala, you have connections. Look, they have a vast networks. They have presence in different countries. So you have your connections in Guatemala too. Then you go to Honduras and you have your connections there too, okay? Do you think that it will be easy for them to travel to Guatemala, to travel to Honduras? It will be easier, yes or no? For them it's easy. Exactly, because look, they have their connections. They have like everything established in those countries. So they don't need to present to a lot of um, rules, to a lot of documents, a lot of regulations. No, for them it's like, ah, when they got to Guatemala in the border, they say, ah, yeah, we already know them. Yes, let's go. When they go to Honduras, it's like, ah, oh, yeah, pretty good. I know you. Let's go. What happens if they want to go to Mexico and they don't have connections in Mexico? Would it be easier for them to get there? Yes or no? Yeah. It would Perhaps be easier. Perhaps it's not very easy. Exactly. So that's the idea. In this scenario, guys, one of the advantages, if you use this kind of a transportation company, they, well, not all of them, but some of them, they have international transport. So it will be easier to deliver a product not only here in El Salvador. Now you can deliver products in different parts of the world. Okay? Is it clear, everyone? Yes, yes? it's clear in my case. Yes, sure. Okay, which of these advantages do you think is the most important for the third party logistic? The ones that eliminate issues in the international products, the reduce of cost or the customer satisfaction? Which one do you think is the best advantage? If I a company that reduce costs. <laughs> ah, very good. That's a good point of view. It depends. If you are the owner of the company, for you is, yeah. of course, the reduce of cost. Any questions, everybody, about these advantages? Yes? I don't know. Ready for an exam? Yeah. <laughs> and only one <laughs> says yes. And the other one? Uh-huh. Questions? And guys, why do you have the camera off? Why? They are afraid. <laughs> they don't want me to ask them. Guys, keep your camera on, please. Okay, let's relax a little bit. Stretch your arms. Okay, it's Friday. Let's relax, guys. Okay, let's stop talking about um, the third party logistic. Let's talk about a little bit different, but I want to see everybody here. Okay, let's pay attention. Um, if you see yesterday when we were talking, we had an agreement that maybe the connectors is something difficult for us in order to link our ideas. So we are going to practice that a little bit and we are going to learn to use connectors, okay? For example, there are different types of connectors. Can you see the presentation, everyone? Yes? yes All right. We can use connectors 
in order to explain or in order to follow a sequence. Which connectors do we have? What is it? What I have here? First. First. What else? In the first place. In the first place. Uh huh. Second. Second. Before. Before. After. After. Later. Later. Then. Next. Next. Finally. Finally. Is there one of these words that you don't know what the meaning is or is totally clear, all of them? All of them is clear for me. Everybody, how about you? No problem, teacher. Great. Imagine that you are telling a story or imagine that you are describing your day. I can ask you, okay, everybody, what do you do every day? You can use the sequence. Sometimes, uh, be careful with the microphones, guys. Sometimes we only say and, and then, then, and, and we just say that one. I take a shower and I have breakfast and then I go to my job. Then I work a lot and I go to lunch. Then, and my goodness, we only repeat the same connector. So in order to avoid that, we can use these ones. What is the first things that you do in the morning when you wake up? What is the first thing that you do? Take a first, shower. First, take a shower. <laughs> All right. So you can say, okay, first, or you can say, well, in the first place, I take a shower. Continue. Second. Second. Uh huh. Take a breakfast. Second, I take a breakfast. Uh, before I go to work, ¿qué hacemos? What do we do before I go to work? Uh -huh. I wash my I, teeth. I brush my teeth. So look, we already use three. In the first place, I take a shower. Second, I have breakfast. Before I go to work, I brush my teeth. After, what do you do? After you brush your teeth? Maybe I have breakfast. Mm, again? But you already have breakfast here. Oh, yes. Another one. Think another one. When you brushed your teeth, after that, what do you do? Um, your I put hair? My clothes. I don't know how to do that. Ah, yeah, I get dressed, for example. I get dressed. Yes, I get dressed. Exactly. Now look, before I go to work, I brush my teeth. After that or after I get dressed. What do you later? Uh-huh. Later. I'm the hair. <laughs> later I comb my hair. Then yeah. I drive with my car. Or I take drive a my bus. car. Yeah, very good. Next. Next, I. Uh, <laughs> when you mark in your. When you mark the. Uh, when you enter a scene, and the. I check. Your, I, I check, check my. Yes. My entry. Mm -hmm. My entry, yes. I check my entry and finally I sit in my, <laughs> in my place. <laughs> yeah, I sit on my spot. Perfect. So you already describe what you do in the morning. And look, we use sequencers. All right. That's what we can do in order to connect the ideas. All right. So... I can ask you guys, why do you think is it important to study English? 
You can give me different reasons and you can use all of these sequencers too. You can say, ah, okay, first, you can have more opportunities of growing in your job. Second, if you want to travel to another country, you can use the language and it will be easier for you. And finally, you can help your kids with their homeworks. Look, it's just an example. You can use the sequencers every time that you are describing steps. Is it clear the way that we can use this type of connectors? Yes? Yes. Yes, the chair is clear. The problem is when, when we are talking. <laughs> we no worries. <laughs> we, we forget <laughs> to use them. Yes. Teacher, teacher, when we are speaking about something, every word go out of our mind. Could yeah. You believe that? I do. Or, Guys. Or maybe I, I use only then, 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 then. Exactly. I know. Guys, I wear in your spot too. I mean, I was there. I had to learn the language too, <laughs> okay? I know how it feels, but we can improve little by little, okay? Little by little. Now, what we can do is to practice. Something that helps me I always write the sequencers on my notebooks. And when I was talking, I was talking and with my pencil, I was touching the ones that I already used. I touched it and I knew that I couldn't repeat them. So if I already used first, okay, I cannot say that anymore. If I already used then, I touch it. Okay, I cannot say then anymore. So I had my notebook with me and I was touching and that helps me, okay? So you can try with that. Now, there is another types of connectors and this Teacher. is when you want, uh-huh. Excuse me, uh, just, just one question. Go ahead. You said, you said, I wear your spot. You said spot, spot. or spot. I'm sorry? You said a spot or spot. Spot. Spot is like, for example, if you are working, you have your own place. <laughs> so this is your spot. Is your place? That's the meaning of that word. It is. Is it? It is spelled. E S. Uh, it is no. spelled. S S P O T. S P O T. Yes. Okay. For example. Thank you. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, for example. Yeah, imagine that you go to your company. Uh, if you have some cubicles, so this is your spot, this is someone else's spot, and this is someone else. That means this is your place, this is someone else's place, and this is from someone else. That is the meaning of that word. Thank you, teacher. It's clear. Very good. Okay. We can use another kind of sequencers or connectors is for giving examples. When you give examples, most of the time, we just say it's this one. This is the one, the most common one, for example. But what is another word that we can use? For instance. For instance. Mm -hmm. So you can combine. You can say for example, or you can say for instance, they are synonyms, all right? How about the next one? If you want to add information, these are the ones that you can use. And be careful because sometimes we abused. And, and also are like the most common ones. And also, 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 and we are just repeating the same one. So instead of also, we can say besides. What is the meaning of besides? Have you ever heard that word? I've heard. Yes. But yes, Miss. Mm -hmm. 
What is the meaning or the translation in this case? Um, además. Exactly. Además. That word sounds pretty good. It's much better than just saying also. Okay? So let's try to use it. Uh, so is a very good phrase too. Instead of saying in, uh, we can say so. Okay? Instead of saying just and then, then also we can include so. Is it clear? Copy, guys. Copy because we are going to use them. Okay? Teacher. Um. Uh, yes? Um, in the in a movie or series TV, you said that uh, indeed the, the, it's not uh, um, for sequence, no. Which one? Indeed? Indeed, uh-huh. How do you write it? Oh, um, in D double E D. Uh huh. I N D E E. Uh -huh. e like I'm going e. to write it. Uh, is this the one? Uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh, it, yes. This is another connector too. Do you know what is the meaning, guys? Have you ever seen this one? No. Nope. It's, it's like I care, uh, but I don't know. Of course. I, I okay. remember something is equal to other one, or I am I am confused actually. All right, indeed is a synonym of when you say actually. What is the meaning of actually? Do you know that is not like right now? What is the meaning of actually? In reality. The translation, uh huh. We say like. De hecho, right? En efecto. So, indeed is basically just a synonym. We can use it in the same way. Okay? So, I can ask you, um, let me see. Do you like a, a microphones? I'm sorry. I can ask you, hey, do you like languages? I do like languages. Actually, I'm studying English, right? So, me gusta el inglés. Me gustan los idiomas. De hecho, estoy estudiando inglés. So, the same meaning here. Do you like languages? I do. Indeed, I'm studying English. It's the same meaning. All right? Clear? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Pretty good. You can use it. Write it down. Write it down. All right. Uh, so what happens? Go sorry, ahead. Miss. Tell me. But indeed, the vector said is add information. Also, you you is uh, indeed yes. is uh, it's, it's to add it's... information too. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Now, if you want to make contrast, that means opposite ideas. The most common one is but, right? And we say but, but, and but. But there are some others. Look, which one can we use? However, However. and that sounds much better. We can use, on the other hand, and this one is very common. All the pronunciation, guys. All the. All the. Okay. What is the pronunciation? All the. All the. All the. All, the. all right. That's it. All the. This all the means the same as this. It's the same meaning. Okay. So instead of using but, let's try to use these ones. Okay, let's try to use however, let's try to use although. Okay, so during the class, let's try to speak a little bit slower if it is needed. And let's try to think a little bit more and change. Okay, let's try to use different connectors. 
Is it clear the ones that we can use if we want to express contrast? Yes? Yes, teacher. If you have a question or if there is a word that you don't know what the meaning is, please just let me know and I can explain. Now, this one is very useful, especially when we don't know exactly what to say. If I ask you a question and you need time to think, what can we say? Can I say, este, can I say that one? Hmm, all right, that is Spanish. What phrases can I say if I need time to think? Look. Well, I can say, hmm, let's see. I can say, let me think think okay um do you thinking another one what else can you say let me know <laughs> let me know but let me know is if you are asking for information let me know déjame saber uh -huh. in this case it's in order to think think you need time for example if i ask you okay guys uh, what are the advantages of the uh, third party logistic? And you are like, I, I don't remember. I need time to think. So you start saying, um, well, uh, the first one is ta 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 ta. And you don't remember the second, and you start, um, let's see, the second one is ta da 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 da. Um, the third one, um, let me think the third one, ah, da, 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 da. So you see, these phrases can help you to give you time when you need to think. It's better that you use these phrases instead of you say like, eh, um, I no sé, or este, Right? Instead of using these hesitation phrases, we can use these ones. So when I ask a question, guys, and you need time to think, which phrases can you say? Uh huh. Well, let's see. Let me think. Pretty good. All right. So try to use it. Every time that you need time to think, Please, you can use these phrases. Is it clear, everyone? Yes. Another that yes, you can it's use, clear. even you can Ooh. use this one. Ah, you can say, hey, that's a good question. <laughs> right? Ah, uh -huh, that's a good question. Um, let me see. Okay, so those phrases can give you time to think about your answer. Okay, now another one's if you want to give your opinion. Imagine if I ask you, okay, everyone, uh, do aliens exist? What do you think? In this case, I'm asking your opinion. So which phrases can you use? Hmm. I think, right? What else? Ah, I believe. Um, which is the best sport team in the world? Okay, in my opinion, all right. Ah, what is the best hotel in El Salvador, for example? Mm, okay, in my experience, Da, 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 da. And you continue talking. What is, um, imagine if I ask you, uh, how can I use simple present in English? Ah, okay. As far as I understand, the simple present is, and you start giving your opinion. So most of the time we use, I think, 
right? That's the most common one. However, we can use the other ones. I believe, in my opinion, in my experience, as far as I understand. Clear? Yes? Clear. Everyone? Okay, let me ask let me ask you your opinion about some topics. Let's see. Okay, guys, which one is better? Which mall is better? Um, La Gran Vía, Metro Centro, Galerías, uh, Multiplaza. So which one is better? Uh -huh. Give me your opinions. I think La Galería. Ah, so you see, he used I think. Thank you, Nelson. So now, Nelson already used this. You cannot use this one anymore. Someone else? I believe, I believe it's La Gran Vía. Pretty good. Okay, she already used I believe. You cannot use that one anymore. Next one. In my experience, teacher, it depends about what are you looking for. Pretty good. Uh huh. Who's next? If I don't have volunteers, I'm going to pick randomly. Okay. I understand more English right now. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> uh -huh. So, Rosalina, in my opinion, or as far as I understand, which as mall is far, better? Yeah, as far as I understand. Yeah, my English uh -huh. is better now. <laughs> I like that. And someone else? Use in my opinion, please. In my opinion, La Gran Vía. Cool. Now, if you see, guys, that is something that you can do. You can touch some co uh, connectors, and that is going to obligate you to say, okay, I cannot use this one anymore. All right? This is with the practice. When we are talking, we need to try to analyze a bit better what we are saying. Okay? Try to organize your thoughts try to organize your ideas. Here in the class, I'm not asking you to speak fast. Hey, hurry up, hurry up, talk, talk, talk. No, I'm not asking you to talk fast, all right? As I always said, fluency is not the same as speaking fast, all right? So let's try to think, take your time. If you need time to think, you already know. Well, let's see, let me think, give me a second, mm, good question, okay? So we are going to try to be more careful when we talk. Now, is it clear, this vocabulary, guys? Yes? No? Questions? Okay, thank you. All right, these are not the only ones, okay? We have more connectors, there are a lot, but these are like one of the most common ones. If you want to learn more, I mean, on Google, you will find a lot, but I recommend you first to get used to learning, I mean, to get used to uh, using all of them, and later you can learn more. Because the name sirve que se aprendan 100 palabras. If at the moment when you are talking, you don't use them. Okay? So let's start first practicing these ones and then you can learn more. Okay? Now, let's have a practice. Um, I'm going to play an audio. And I want you to listen to this conversation. Okay, and you have to describe, I mean, identify the connectors that this person is using. Clear? Yes? Yes, it's clear. Okay, you can write it. If you listen to a connector, write it. Okay? Uh, microphone soft, 
please, everybody. This is a very simple conversation. It's not so complicated because what I want is to identify the connections, the way that she is explaining her routine, right? Here we go, pay attention. If you don't listen to the audio, just let me know. This is Nora Scott speaking from Menfield Hospital. In today's episode, we will be talking to Priya, who is a paramedic. Hello. And Ollie, who works here as a nurse. Hi. What's a normal day for a paramedic like? Very long. The first thing I do is to check my bag. I see if I have everything I need. Gloves, mask, blood pressure monitor. Then I also check the equipment in the ambulance, like the defibrillator and the stretcher. Then you're ready for your first call. Yes, I spend most of my day responding calls. We usually have about 8 to 12 in one shift. Wow, that's a lot. At each call, I provide first aid. Then I have to decide if we need to transport the patient to hospital or not. It can be an injury in a car accident, for example, or a heart attack. I have to be prepared for everything. True. All right. As I said, this is a simple conversation. She was describing her routine. Could you identify some connectors? First. First, I, yes. Then. Then. Usually. And mm -hmm. for example. Ah. Also. Also. Look, here we got the script. This is what she was saying. Now, look at here. As your classmate said, one of the first that she used, it was first. The first thing that I do. Imagine if I ask you, okay, everybody, can you describe your daily routine? Of course, the first thing, that is another connector that you can use. The first thing I do is da 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 da. All right, look. Then I also, okay, she used and, um, imagine in this case, uh, in the ambulance, like, what is the meaning of like in this case? It's for compare, like the, uh, common. Ah, very good. So in this case, guys, we can use like also when you want to give like more ideas. For example, if I say, do you like music? Yes, I do like music. What kind of music do you like? I like country music. Uh, for example, you know, music like... Uh, with the violins, like guitars, and dancing with cowboys. So you are saying like. That's another one that you can use. Uh, she used then a lot, if you see. Look, frequency adverbs, they helped you a lot. Um, let's see, do we have another connector here? Yes, no? Then. And then, look. So in this brief conversation, it doesn't last not even one minute. She was using a lot of connectors. So that's the purpose and that is what I want you to do in these moments. We have to learn to use connectors, okay? How are we going to do that? We are going to have a quick practice. No worries, today I'm not going to ask you to, <laughs> to talk a lot, to talk for a minute or something. First, we need to learn how to use these um, connectors. We are going to have a practice. I have here a short paragraph. This person is describing its day and we need to complete the spaces with the words in the box, okay? Important, the word so, we can use it twice. I will give you five minutes. So everybody, read carefully the paragraph. 
and complete the conversation. For example, in the number one, ta -ta 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 -ta, I arrived home, I put on my pajamas, and I lay down on the sofa. Which of these words do you think I can use in the number one? What do you think? After? After? Maybe? No, maybe before. You can use before instead of after. Okay, before. I don't know. So you decide. If you think that is before, after. right. No, after is uh, after. after is I wrong. My mistake. My bad. My bad. Okay, it's up to you. Now I will give you five minutes. Okay, complete this short paragraph using the connectors that you think is the correct one, and then we are going to see what the correct answer is. If you find a word that you don't know what the meaning is. Just let me know. There is one connector that we haven't seen it. It's as soon as. Do you rem Do you know what the meaning is, as soon as? Tan pronto como. Exactly, that's the meaning, pretty good. Okay, everyone, five minutes. If you have a question, just let me know. I just have a question, teacher. Yes, Will go because, ahead. because of. Oh, because and because of. Anyone, in this case, it's just a quick difference. It's very small. Um, Because of is most of the time, how can I explain it? Because of, when we explain something, debido a, that is more like the translation. Because is porque, right? Uh, because I'm sick, because I don't want to go. But because of, it's more like when we say debido a. Eh, why are you angry? I, because of my sister. I, because of my dog. Got it? Is it clear the difference? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Okay, guys, if you have a question, tell me. I can explain. No worries. If you have a question, just let me know real carefully, okay? And remember the word so, you can use it twice. Everybody, please do the exercise. I will be asking individually, okay? So everybody tries to do it.
Picture film is like a movie. Which one? Film in the number four. I wanted to watch a film. a film. Yes. The meaning is exactly the same as movie. They are synonyms. If you have questions, let me know. Read carefully, read carefully. Remember that this is a routine. Try to connect the ideas. Let me know when you're ready. If you have questions, just let me know, please. Hi, uh -huh, everybody. Are you ready? Yes or no yet? Uh -huh. Do you finish? Not yet? Yes. You have to be read. You have to read carefully. Remember what we said? Two days ago, we had to read carefully, okay? Yes, miss. Let me know when you're ready. We are going to check the answers, so that's why I want to everybody 
try to complete the exercise, please. All right, we are going to start checking the answers because the time is short. So, any idea, guys? In the number one, what do you think? What can we yeah. say? After. <laughs> After. Everybody? I wrote, I wrote as soon as, uh, as soon as. As soon as. Okay, so we have two options here. After and as soon as. Okay, leave it as it is. And when we complete the exercise, we decide which one sounds better. Teacher, okay. Sorry, sorry. I am mm -hmm. confused because after that, I think that is after that. But I'm not oh. sure what the, is the different is that. But I think that is after that. Ah, okay. All right, so look, we have two options. We have after, we have after that, and we have as soon as. So Mirna, you think that here is after that? Yes, I think, but I'm not sure. Because <laughs> it, it's, the, it's the same, but the, that is... is a... No worries, we are going to write it. That's okay, it's okay. If you see, guys, the meaning, I mean, it's not that different, okay? We are going to see it later. Okay, I need a volunteer for reading, please, from number one until the number two. Volunteer for reading. Me, teacher. Go ahead. After that, I arrived home. I put on my pajamas and I lay down on the sofa. I was exhausted and I wasn't very hungry. Pretty good. All right. Now, what do you think, guys, in the number two? What would be the answer in the number two? So. So, everyone? However. Okay. However. However, I decided not to have anything for dinner. What is the function of however? If you remember, what is the meaning? Is a sequencer, give opinion, give contrast. Opinion. Contrast. Making a contrast. All right. Contrast. So when we are talking about making a contrast means I have affirmative sentence and then I have a negative one. Or I have a negative sentence and then I have an affirmative because we are talking about contrast. How about here? I wasn't very hungry. I decided not to have anything for dinner. Do you think that we have a contrast here? No. Not no. No, really, right? So can I use however? No, no we can't. Mm, so be careful. Contrast is because we have two different ideas. And we are just separating them, okay? So a uh, volunteer for continue reading, please. I, mm -hmm. I just. I just got a glass of milk from the fridge. 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 Remember, fridge is just like refrigerator, <laughs> but in a short way. Okay. Uh huh. What is the number three? After that, for me. After. Uh, okay. In my, in my opinion, it's after that too. Mm -hmm. I remember. Uh, that. Okay. Some of you say after that. Some of you say just after. Okay. Uh, we are going to see. No worries. Um, volunteer, please, for continue reading. I lied on. I lie on the sofa, and I turned. 
I and turned they, on. And I turned on the TV. Mm -hmm. Number four, what happens there? Because, because I wanted to watch a film. Watch a film. Everybody, do you agree? Or do you have any I other agree. idea? I agree because. I agree because. because. Okay, so because I wanted to watch a film. Okay, now number five. However, there was nothing interesting on TV. Everybody, do you agree? Yes. Do we have contrast yes. here? Yes, yes. yes. watch a film and then ah, you look. Will... I wanted to watch a film. Okay, that's one idea. And I have an opposite idea. What happened? Mm, there was nothing interesting. So we have contrast. Okay, so there was nothing interesting on the TV. So what happens? Mm -hmm. I decided to go to bed. And number six. So. Aldo. For me, it's so. Okay, some people say so. Some people say Aldo. Aldo. Okay. Aldo. <laughs> I decided to go to bed. I wasn't very sleepy. Again, we need to think about the function. What is the function of although? Uh, it's a making contrast. Making contrast. What is the meaning of so? So it's add information. Adding information, okay. not necessarily contrast. So what do we have here? Am I just adding information or do I have contrast? Remember, characteristic to know if I have contrast. One sentence is affirmative and the other one is negative. That is a it's key. A, it's a contrast. In this case, contrast. it's a contrast. contrast. Ah, so yeah. which one is the best option? So or although? Although. Yes. Okay. So I wasn't very sleepy. Volunteer for continue reading, please. Uh-huh. Volunteer. I wasn't I wasn't very sleepy. Once I was in bed. I remembered that I had to take my medication. I can't sleep well at night. All right. So, number seven, what do you think? Because of? Because okay. of? Because of. Everybody, do you agree? Yes, I agree. I agree. So, okay. Yes. Now, how can I identify if I can use because or if I can use because of. Most of the time, because is followed by a complete sentence. That means subject, verb, complement. Okay? That's the rule. If you use because, you need complete sentence. But if you use because of, it's not necessary to have subject, verb, complement. If you see, because of my insomnia, what you need is a noun, okay? In the number eight, hmm, because of my insomnia, and then? What do you write here? Because. So, so, <laughs> so, 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 for adding information. So, so, we are adding information. Yes, yes. So. yes I, I just so because of my insomnia, I'm always take a sleep tablet. It's, Sleeping tablet? It's an yeah, it's, it's an information. Yeah. All right. 
So I always take a sleeping tablet. And the number nine? What do you write here? Before. <laughs> Before. Before I go to bed. Everybody, do you agree? Before? Yes, yes or no? Yes? Yes, yes. Before I go to bed. And the number 10? As soon as? As soon as taking. As soon as taking the sleeping tablet? Yes. I went yes. back to bed. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. Look at this. What happens here is that I have after that here and I have after that here. I have as soon as here and I have as soon as here. So we need to make a decision, everyone. Which one do you want to change? And which one do you want to leave? Sure. Uh -huh. In my opinion, as soon as is number 10. Okay, so not in the number one. No. Pretty good. I share, I share his opinion. So you agree with him? Yes, I do. Everybody, what do you think? So in the number one, I need a decision because if you say that in the number one is after, but I have after that here and I have after that here. If you say that in the number 10 is as soon as, okay, we can leave as soon as here, right? And we can remove it from here if you think. Yes. But, <laughs> but I have after but, that here but, and after but I, that here. But I just use after that. I think that the rest of the people say it after and okay, I it's okay. <laughs> I consider that the correct answer is after, not after that. I consider that this is the, the answer after. Okay. So like this. Maybe for the comma, because I can see the comma after that, comma. <laughs> I, <know>. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that makes sense. Okay, everybody. This is your exam. Uh-huh. Yes. After that. Yes. Yes. So, leave it as it is. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if all the answers are correct, you will yes. win. You you don't have to do the platform. <laughs> <laughs> but if you have one mistake, you have to complete the platform. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. yes. <laughs> check it, check it, check it. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's find it out. Um okay. <laughs> but honestly, I mean, if you say after here, the oh, meaning what? doesn't change. According to the website, look at this. What is the meaning of as soon as or what is like a synonym? Boy. When, so let's see the sentence. If I say, when I arrive home, does it make sense? Yes. yes. Sense. Okay, let's see the other sentence. I go to bed when taking the sleeping tablet. Can I say that? No. Yes, I say that. Ah, but remember when I need a subject here. When I'm taking the sleeping tablet, if I have the subject, yes. But in this case, tendría sentido if I change it for mm. when? No. Not really, right? Okay. But, so remember, if you want to use as soon as, you can translate it literal, like tan pronto como, or think about the synonym that is when. Okay, so this person is describing daily routine. Simple, if you see, it's not that long. And look, used different connectors. And that's what we need to try to do. When we are explaining something, let's try to use different connectors. Is that easy or a little bit difficult to use connectors? 
What do you think? Difficult. It's a little bit difficult. <laughs> it's just with the practice. Yes. <laughs> it's just with the practice. But difficult, yes. Impossible? No. Ah, pretty good. So, guys, difficult, maybe. Impossible? Never. Nothing. Okay, <laughs> pretty good. All right. So, uh, we don't have more time, everybody. So, do you have any questions before leaving? No, no, no questions? Are you sure? No, I don't have. Yes, I'm sure. Not teacher. All right. So, guys, you can go to sleep, but the winner for tonight is Miss Jamie Escobar. <laughs> so, Jamie, you have to stay. The rest of you guys, you can go to sleep. Have a wonderful weekend, and don't forget, please work on the platform. All right? Okay. Okay. All right. Pretty good. Have a good See night. you Bye. on Monday, Very guys. Good night, everyone. Good night. Take Bye. care. Bye. See you on Monday. Goodbye. See you on Monday. My phone is rebuilt. <laughs> he wants to stay. Ah, you, you can do it if you want. <laughs> okay, it's better. All right. Bye. Bye. Good night. All right. Hello, Jamie. How are you? Hello. I'm okay. Pretty good. Ready for the weekend? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> you need it. I, I think that everybody needs it. it. It's a long week. Mm -hmm. So, well, you know that this meeting is just to clarify some questions or doubts that you may have. So, this is your moment. Mm, no, I don't have questions. I... I don't. When I have a question, I I try to uh, search the meaning um, of eating. <laughs> Very good, excellent. So, what do you think about the topic, the connectors? Is that easy or a little bit complicated for you? It's a little complicated, but I I think that it's so important know the meaning because when you are reading something for example uh, a article a books uh, whatever uh, you need to know the meaning because i i have noticed the 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 important <laughs> The importance. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Remember that that's one of the biggest problems in English. One word can change the meaning of the full sentence. Only one word. And it's like, wow, if you misunderstood yes. the word, you will be lost. <laughs> yeah. And that yes. happens when we are speaking too. If you are speaking and suddenly you said a, a word that is, what? No, everybody won't understand what you are trying to say. That's why it's very, very important. Yes. yes I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. I know that is difficult, but just with the practice. We are going to try to have speaking practice a little by little. We are going to try to improve it. And of course, to apply the knowledge. Uh, you have the knowledge in your mind. It's time to move the knowledge from your mind to your mouth. So that's the idea. That is what we want to get in this class. All right? Yes, I'm going to try it. <laughs> you can do it. You are doing great, actually. So now, how is the platform going? It's good. Uh, I feel uh, there is no so difficult. Hmm, it, very good. It's so friendly, <laughs> the platform. Yeah, um, now that you are experts on the platform. <laughs> I, uh, I have noticed some problem in my English. Uh, for example, the and um, a few words. I don't know how pronounce how. I don't know how to pronounce. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, for example, when when a, a, a word the ends is uh, whatever vocal 
or consonant or, mm -hmm. or joint. Uh, I don't know what is the pronunciation. So uh, I have to learn about that. <laughs> ah, you mean when you can connect the words? That's what you mean? Yes. Or just or... the ending sounds? Yes, the ending sound. Ah, and yeah, that topic is a little bit difficult too. And it is very important because if you don't pronounce the ending sounds, we cannot understand what word you are saying. And this is the same as we said before. One letter, one sound can change the meaning of the word. So when we are not pretty sure about the pronunciation, please, I always recommend to listen to the pronunciation on the dictionary. Okay. okay. Yes. Try try to use a uh, online dictionaries as lingue. Lingue is, is my favorite because uh, you can find <clears throat> sorry the meaning of the word, but also there is the the audio, so you can listen to what the pronunciation is. Okay. Yes. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. Do you have any other comments or questions? No. No one. Pretty good. Okay, so we are going to stop here. I know that you are tired. You deserve to go to rest. Okay. Thank you, Mimi. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. See, See you. you. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye. Yes.